Downtown Providence. It's a very different place than it was in the 1970s. Thanks to a dedicated group of citizens and elected officials with vision, pride, and hard work, we have collectively transformed the face of our city in the last 40 years. Over these years, we have buried and relocated railroad tracks, created hundreds of acres of new development opportunity, redirected an interstate highway, saved historic buildings from demolition, and we have literally moved rivers. The first major project was the reopening of the Biltmore Hotel. The rebirth of this downtown icon symbolized the achievement of great projects that would follow. The Lowe's Theater, months from demolition, was given new life as the Providence Performing Arts Center. Through the efforts of the public and private sector, a magnificent, irreplaceable structure lives as a symbol of Providence as an art center. PPAC allows Providence residents to enjoy international and Broadway level performances in our own city. With the Capital Center project, the foundation, along with many others, began to really think big. Through massive collaboration and taking advantage of federal funding opportunities, the long-term dream of removal of the elevated railroad tracks, known as the Chinese Wall, was achieved and the successful Capital Center District was created. Home to the Providence Place Mall, the Rhode Island Convention Center, three major hotels, thousands of square feet of offices, international headquarters, hundreds of new residences, and world-class restaurants. Over $1 billion worth of investment has been created. The River Relocation Project was exceptionally broad in scope, including relocation of three major rivers, uncovering and restoring two-thirds of a mile of waterway, creating one and a half miles of auto-free river walk and construction of 12 new bridges, restoring historical links among Providence's Capitol Center, College Hill, and the downtown. A new downtown waterfront was created and is a setting for the world-famous Waterfire, Water Place Park, restaurants, an amphitheater, the river walk, a boat landing, and many other community gatherings. The I-195 redevelopment has been called a heroic project of epic proportions. This grand scale and multi-dimensional infrastructure project relinked 40 acres of land to downtown, including 19 acres of developable parcels. Situated between the vibrant and collected communities of downtown, the Jewelry District, College Hill and Fox Point. The 195 land offers a once in a generation opportunity to knit together parts of the city formerly divided by highway and create a dynamic center in the heart of Providence for people of all ages and income groups to work, live, and play. The revitalization of Down City, particularly along Westminster Street, breathed new life into historic buildings. Housing, universities, arts, entertainment, retail, and commercial uses bring an exciting mix into downtown's historic core. Important buildings were saved, thousands of people live downtown, and the city is thriving. The Downtown Improvement District, known as the DID, for 10 years has ensured our sidewalks and streets are clean, safe, and beautifully landscaped. The Yellow Jackets have transformed the pedestrian experience for visitors, students, and pedestrians alike. Our downtown parks grew from 11 acres to more than 50 acres during the last 40 years. The Downtown Providence Parks Conservancy was created to work closely with the city to bring programming, activities, and much needed resources to enhance the experience for visitors and the quality of life for residents in our city's great public spaces.
These innovations were and continue to be made by the efforts of the Providence Foundation and our partner organizations, the Downtown Improvement District and the Downtown Providence Parks Conservancy. Working closely with the public sector, we look forward to more transformative projects to create an even better capital city. Providence, Rhode Island is a city that has transformed itself into a 21st century center of arts, culture, education, technology, research, and commerce, where the next generation of residents are just beginning to shape the next 40 years.